Hey my friends and welcome to 30 days of yoga camp. It's day 17 and the mantra today is I am focused. Let's get started. All right, let's begin in a nice comfortable seat. Ankles crossed, sitting up nice and tall. As you get settled in today, we're going to start right away with the mantra. So as I chat for a little bit, you can start to find movement that feels good, whether it's neck circles, circles with the nose, looping the shoulders. We begin with the mantra, I am focused. So you may not be focused right away, but we use the mantra and the connect to the mind, the thought to kind of unite us with our energy in this moment. And so we find movement that feels good here and then we find breath that feels good here. So big, nice, refreshing breath in. Nice, easy exhale out. Close your eyes, say to yourself, I am focused. And then consider this mantra for just a moment here as you continue any organic movement that feels good. Continue just kind of teasing that conversation with the breath. Is there an area of your life that could use focus? And then back to the mantra, say it out loud or repeat quietly to yourself. I am focused. And align head over heart, heart over pelvis. So sometimes with my eyes closed, I like to just rock a little front to back and even left to right to just find that center spot. And to expand a little awareness. And slowly bat your eyelashes open. And you can, of course, take a look at the video um, to get the sequence. Some of you have done this dance with me before. It's actually one of my favorite little flows because um, it's like a little shout out to my teacher. So we'll slowly bring the fingertips left to right. And right away, press into the pinkies, lift up through the armpit chest. So there's this definite dichotomy of energy as you lift, lift, lift up, and then find places to ground down. How many times have I said, find places to lift and lengthen, find places to ground down. So even here. And the mantra, I am focused. If that doesn't resonate, I choose to focus. So marrying the breath to the movement, the movement to the breath. We inhale, spread the fingertips super wide, stretch through the hands and lift the arms halfway, palms parallel to the earth. See if you can grow even taller here as if you're pressing the hands down on a piece of plexiglass, kind of like we do with those airplane arms and lengthen through the crown. Then inhale, spread the fingertips again. Exhale, keep the heart lifted, but chin to chest here as we bring the hands behind and then soft rounding of the spine. So palms come behind. Again, we'll just kind of walk everyone through it and then we'll get our groove on. Stretching through the back of the neck, the head, and just letting the weight of the wrist here help stretch. No need to press or tug. Then on your next inhale, slowly begin to lift the heart. The spine nice and long here as you continue up through the crown of the head. Fingertips reach towards the sky. And then use your exhale to float it back down to one. Let's try again. Inhale, spreading the fingertips. Reaching left to right. On the exhale, chin to chest. Keep the chest open, gentle rounding in the spine though. So we're not totally collapsing here, so it's all in control. Palms come behind to this little namaste shark fin here. Then empty out all the air. 
and inhale, grow tall, rolling up through the staircase of the spine, reaching towards the heavens, and then using the exhale to open the chest, open the shoulders. Whew. Let's do one more. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chin to chest, reach behind, palms together. Empty out all the air, then inhale, reach, lift and lengthen. And exhale, rain it down. Great, just give the arms a little break here. Take your nose past your right shoulder. If you like that image of maybe someone kissing you on the left side of your neck here, take it or leave it. And drop the chin to the chest, rolling through. We'll take it to the other side, drawing the nose past the left shoulder here. Receive your kiss. And then come back to center. All right, so I am focused. Synchronizing movement to breath, breath to movement. We inhale, send the fingertips out left to right. Exhale, palms together at the heart. Nice and slow, chin to chest, reach behind. Empty out all the air. And then send it all the way up. Exhale, release. Keep it going. It'll take a while to get this groove. It's a little yoga for the brain at first. And then it'll also take a while to stay true to your breath. So ujjayi helps. Inhale, ujjayi breath. Exhale, it's that soft restriction in the back of the throat. Bring the palms in. Chin to chest, reach behind. And then inhale, reach it up. Exhale, rain it down and pause. Great, open your eyes, take a look at the video. Now we're gonna add an extra layer. You can take it or leave it just to play. So we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to heart. Now check it out here. I just empty out all the air. I'm gonna hold the breath, retain the breath as I reach back, palms together. Retaining the breath, retaining the breath. If you're familiar with Uddiyana Bandha here, drawing the navel in. And then inhale, fresh breath as you reach up. And exhale, rinse it free. So basically, I'm just inviting you, if you like, to play with a little breath retention here. As the palms come in, we empty everything out. Navel draws in. And then we reach behind, retaining the breath. And then inhale with that nice Uddiyana Bandha, drawing the navel in. We inhale, reach up and exhale, rain it down. So we're gonna do this five times together. You can watch the video. Once you start getting your groove, you can maybe soften your gaze and begin to really integrate the neck. Okay. I am focused. Fingertips to your sides. One free breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, we flow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms together at the heart. Namaste. Chin to chest, reach behind. Retain the breath. And then inhale, gather it up, reach for the sky. Exhale, rain it down. Inhale, let your breath fuel your movement. Exhale, hands to heart. Retain the breath, chin to chest, reach behind. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, rain it down. Inhale, halfway lift, stay focused. Exhale, hands to heart, play with that ujjayi. Hold the breath, retain, reach behind, chin to chest. And inhale, all the way up. Exhale, float it down. Two more, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms together. 
chin to chest, reach behind. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale down. Last one, move with your breath. Exhale. Chin to chest, reach behind. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, release. Great, relax your shoulders. Just take a second to notice how you feel. Repeat the mantra, I am focused. Hmm. And slowly drop the chin to the chest, bat the eyelashes open, and we'll dive forward onto all fours. So keep breathing as you make your transition. We'll take a couple cat cows here. And we'll make our way to downward facing dog. Stick with your breath. Stay focused on your breath. slow walk up towards the front edge. Negotiate. You got it. Each day is a new, so stay present. Forward fold. Bend the knees. Grab the elbows. Rock a little side to side. Stay focused on your breath, on the sensations. Give the thinking mind a little break. Then release the arms and slowly roll it up. Take your time. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. Rise up strong to your mountain. And go through your checklist here. So drawing the shoulders away from the ears, maybe tops of the thighs spiral in today. You lengthen the tailbone down, finding that strong base, strong foundation. So in mountain pose, if I were to come up and just gently press you on the hips, you wouldn't just fall over. You're engaged. We're lifting energy up from the arches, pressing into all four corners of the feet. And then here we go, same thing. Soft knees here, so careful not to lock out. So you've done, you've done, you've gone through your checklist, you've done the work to make sure you have a nice strong base here. And we return our attention towards the vinyasa. Inhale, extend the fingertips out left to right, halfway. So you could just lift the arms or you could literally reach way beyond your yoga mat, beyond the physical body, energy going out. Big breath in, just a little review here. Exhale, palms together. Then chin to chest, reach behind. Maybe you retain the breath here, maybe not. And inhale, reach it all the way up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Big full body stretch here. Again, beyond the physical body. Energy, reaching up. Energy, grounding down. So good for you. And then exhale, release back to the mountain. So I'll let you decide if it's feet hip width apart, feels more stable, secure. Or maybe you come to that four part equal standing. Here we go, playing with an audible breath or that ujjayi breath, which is a video for, and it takes a little bit of practice, but it's really nice uh, to focus the mind, that busy thinking mind, and so good for the body. Here we go, inhale, soft knees, inhale, extend. Fingertips left to right. Exhale, hands to heart, nice and slow. Chin to chest, reach behind, inhale. Press away from the earth as you reach up. Exhale, float it down. 
keep it going. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to heart. Chin to chest, reach around. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, hands float down. So I'll stop talking, just get in the groove here. Inhale. Follow your breath. Let's do two more, especially if you've been doing this with me for a while, you can begin to soften out the hard edges. And one more, when you complete your round, we'll pause and mountain. Soften the gaze or close your eyes and just notice how you feel, what that did. <sighs> totally blissed me out. Say no to drugs. Get high on yoga with Adrian. Yoga camp. Drop your chin to your chest. Bat your eyelashes open. Just soft movement into uh, hands and feet. Just kind of move uh, onto the next thing and make sure that we're not holding too tight. So we're coming into warrior one. So we're just gonna come into it with the right foot forward and the left foot back. Now take a second to get into the legs. You might just find a couple of bends in the knee, a little awareness in that back foot. And then when you're ready, we'll reach the arms all the way up and overhead. Find your posture, big breath in. And then big breath out as you release the fingertips down. So we're gonna move through our flow. We're only gonna do it in three times in warrior one on each side. So moving through our flow, start with the fingertips down and then turn your pinkies towards the front edge of your mat. So open, open through the chest. Now the root of this pose, strong in that back leg, lengthen tailbone heavy down to the ground. Here we go, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to heart. Play here, chin to chest, stay focused on the breath. Inhale, reach for the sky, warrior one. Exhale, down we go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to heart, hug energy into the midline. Chin to chest, reach behind, strong legs here, you got it. Inhale, all the way up, warrior one. Look to see if you've come out of that front bend. Exhale, rain it down, just softly release. One more time, you got it, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stay focused, hands to heart. Chin to chest, reach behind, strong in that back leg. Inhale, warrior one. And exhale, ringing it down. Begin to straighten through that front leg. We'll slowly, slowly bring the hands to the waistline and begin to take the head, the heart forward. Nice flat back as long as you can and then slow release down to the ground. Fingertips touch the mat and we allow the head, the crown to release. Big breath in here and soften through that front knee and we power back up, warrior one. Inhale in. Exhale, release. Hands come to the waistline and we'll just turn the right toes in. Send the left toes out to do the same thing on the other side. So find your footing. We'll come to warrior one, reaching the arms all the way up and over the head. Plug the shoulders down, lift the heart up. 
And when you feel good and strong, release the arms down and we move into our flow. Big breath in to send the fingertips out left to right. Big breath out, whoa, hands to heart. Close to my eyes. Chin to chest, reach behind. Inhale all the way up, warrior one. Exhale, take it down. Two more, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to heart. Chin to chest, reach behind. And inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Last time, I won't cue it, just move with your breath. Great, after you release, pull the left hip crease back, straighten through that front leg, hands come to the waistline, and we slowly send the head, the heart forward, flat back position as long as you can, and stay strong in that back leg as you release. If you need to bend this front knee here, please do. Breathe. And then soften through. Coming back to your warrior one, powering through the front leg strong, bending that front knee, reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, release. Hands to the waistline, we'll turn the left toes in. And if you wanna have a little fun today, you can hop to the center, otherwise heel toe, heel toe. Mountain. Release the fingertips, sit up nice and tall. Inhale in, exhale, release. And heel toe, heel toe the feet, hip width apart. We're gonna take it back down to the ground to relax. Open the toes, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down through the midline as you slowly lower down. Come into a yogic squat. So if the heels come up here, allow them to come up and maybe keep the fingertips on the earth. Otherwise, it's right down into this Malasana variation. Pressing the elbows into the legs and squeezing the elbows, squeezing the legs in towards the elbows. Lift your sternum toward your thumbs, lift through the crown. Stay here for a couple breaths, nice, long, smooth, focused breaths. If you want to release the palms down for a little crow practice, bakasana, please do. Nice. Focus, keeping that drishti right out in front, that focus. Good, then we'll slowly begin to release. Gently bring the palms back behind you, sending your bum to the earth. We're just gonna take a second to Windshield wiper the legs, so sending the knees over towards one side, lifting up through the heart, and then rocking through. One leg at a time feels best here. And over, lift your heart. And one more time, each side. And to the other side. Cool. Walking the feet back in. And coming to flat back. Interlace the fingertips. Bring them behind the head. I am focused. Let's connect to the center. Remember your mantra. Scoop the tailbone up. Yogi bicycles today. Press up off the toes. Shins parallel. This is what we're ending with. So give it your all. Here we go. Inhale in. Exhale. Peel the head, the neck, your shoulders up. Keep the elbows wide. Extend the right leg out long. Cross right elbow to left knee. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left elbow to right knee. Extend through the left leg. Inhale back to center. Keep it going. Keep lots of space between the chin and the chest. Inhale back to center. Exhale, cross it over. Now you can take away that center and just move through the bicycles, but I think you should still be really mindful of that lower back. Remember, I am supported. Five more seconds, you got it. All 
Awesome, even it out. And then release, give yourself a big hug. Point and flex the feet. And slowly release. Draw the shoulder blades underneath. And we're gonna walk the left foot into the center and cross the right leg over like eagle legs. And then send the arms out wide, Texas T. And slowly, with your eagle legs, melt towards the left. Nice and easy. So you should get a nice massage in the left glute. And we twist. If this is too much, you know you can always do recline twist. And then back to center. Uncross the legs. Take the left leg over the right. Hook the ankles, maybe eagle legs. Inhale in, exhale gently, melt them over to the right. Breathe. Hmm. Carefully unravel, come back to center. We inhale, send the legs up. Reach the fingertips towards the outer edges of your feet. We hover here. You might find a little movement, you might find the pulses. You might take Simba and reach him over the cliff one way. And then the other. So giving the lower back some love, just kind of neutralizing through the spine. And one more breath here, wherever you are. And then exhale, release everything. Awesome. Center yourself on your yoga mat. Or not, I am though. Send the legs out long. Find what feels good here, get situated so that you can take a moment to be at peace and relax, let go. So this moment is important. This moment is about surrender. Let your breath return to its natural rhythm. Stay here as long as time allows. Otherwise, I know time is precious. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I hope you have an awesome day. Namaste.